Join me today as I show you how to make this cute little lamp for the dollhouse nursery. With a quick change of decoration, join me and see how easy and fun this project is. Oh, be sure and check the blog post and find out the status on the on the uh, dressing the All right, so today's project, I kind of debated back and forth. Should this be a Sunday project, which I decided to do in the end, or should it be a trash to treasure? Because it's kind of, it could go either way. In the end, I think I decided that I really feel it's going to be a little more difficult than we want to tangle on, um, on our trash to treasure videos. But this is our focal point, and you could substitute something else for this item. This is just a rocking horse. Um, come in a package like this. So I've used a couple out of here. There were 18 of them. Oops, 18. I zoomed in a little further than I thought. Uh, and they're from the Dollar Tree and the uh, baby shower decorations again. I've done several trash to treasure projects with items from the same department. I chose a green one because I have this green plaid. I don't know. This one happens to have a rough spot on the bottom. Now these will not stand up straight. You are going to have to kind of make it go. And I want to get rid of this loop. I don't like this loop. It'd be cute if we were hanging it on something. So what I'm going to do, these are just wire cutters from my jewelry making supplies. I'm going to line it up as best I can and go down there and then turn it around and go line up as best I can along the tail and there. Now this is obviously something for an adult to do, not for you know the younger audience members. Just kind of, you'll have to decide how particular you are about getting that cleaned up. Um, the last one I actually cut in a little bit different place and I think it looked better. So let's see what I can do here. That's a little better. There. So now we have a rocking horse without a handle on his back. The other items we need, we need a small straw. It's like a little cocktail straw. Found my white ones. These bottle caps, I got these, they were in jewelry making stuff, but in the jewelry making stuff at Joanne Fabrics, it's up by the cash register where they have a bunch of dollar and two dollar items. And these have holes drilled in them, in the sides, which are going to be really handy. We have a piece of scrapbook paper. So I said I don't need this white paper. Changed my mind on that. We've got this scrapbook paper. You want a cardstock weight paper. You could use a plain paper. You could use a design. Just be aware that your design needs to be an all over design, not a directional design. You don't want something that has a, a definite top and bottom all over because that will be hard to do. And this is a small dollhouse light bulb. And we are going to make this functional, although I'm not going to show it plugged in because I don't have my transformer available right now. And then this, although you probably can't see it, is a three-quarter inch hole, or three-quarter inch, three-quarter inch circle cut from plastic. This is uh, packaging from something. And I'm actually going to use this. Now be very careful I'm doing this. So I can do this without poking myself. I did this earlier and I used photo paper and I think the clear is going to be better. So we need a hole in that. And so we don't lose this. Now I've got the hole as close to the middle as I can get it. We are going to run the wires from our light bulb down in there. Now, this paper. I'm going to turn the paper over and I made myself a pattern. And what I did to make a pattern, I'll lay it back over here. I drew a three inch circle and I quartered it so I could find the middle. And then I drew a 1 and 3 8 inch circle in the middle. I cut out on both lines and then I made a cone until I got a cone that was 
the shape I wanted for my lampshade. It's really all there is to making a lampshade. Now I can use this as a pattern. Turn it over. I'm drawing on the back so I don't get um, you know pencil marks all over my good the front of my paper. If you hear a buzzy sound, it's my fan. I've got a fan blowing in here. It's a hot day. All right, now you could use, like I said, any paper you want, or you could decorate your paper. Um, I mean, there's so many options for that. But it just needs to be something stiff enough to hold the shape for the lampshade. I'm just going to cut out on those lines. All right, now we need some glue. And I'm going to try using this um, adhesive. First, I want to make sure this is going to round to go around. That's going to be bringing in a little bit more, I think, about there. This is one of those roll-on adhesives. I've been using this for paper crafting quite a bit lately. So I'm hoping this will hold on here. And if need be, we can trim off a little corner of our lampshade. There. Now, that is our lampshade. Now, you can adjust the size of your lampshade to any size you want. Now, I'm going to put this in here. And I am going to use, where did I put my glue? Today, I'm using some craft goop. I'm using this mainly because I had to open this little tube up to uh, fix something in the house and I decided since I had it open I want to use it up because this stuff doesn't tend to keep very long. That's probably pretty much impossible to see what I'm doing here but I'm running a bead of glue, a bead of clear glue along the circle of clear plastic. Yeah, that's going to be easy to film. Um, Hopefully it's showing, I think it's showing up some. And this should hold, this stuff will hold just about anything together. And I'm also going to put a little dab of that right there where my wire comes out. Oops. And I think this was the wrong adhesive to use. Okay, obviously that is not going to hold that. Well, then let's just run a bead of this up there. Not necessarily a good glue for paper, but in a pinch, it will work. There we go. And now this glue needs to set up. Um, I'm gonna use what are my locking tweezers? Use those to hold that in shut. Pick up another pair. Well, I will find something to set to hold the other end shut here in a moment. I am going to cap my glue. And now let's talk about the rest of our. Lamp. Now I'm going to off camera poke a hole in this uh, bottle cap, but I've got two holes in here on the sides, one there and one there. So I'm going to mark, to poke a hole back in here because I don't want to have a hole towards the front. Um, and then our the other thing we're going to need is this. So I'm going to let that glue dry. I'm going to go poke a hole in this, and when this glue is dry, I will be back. All right, so I think this is set up now, and I ended up putting a clip on the top too. All right, there. That seems pretty solid. So the next thing we need to do is we need to cut our straw, and I am going to cut mine about an inch and a half. You'll have to decide how tall you want your length to be. Okay. 
And this is going to serve two purposes. It's going to be our, you know, our, our upright piece of our lamp, but it's also going to hide our wires. And we are going to put another batch of glue. And I think I'm going to, I tried to hurry this on my last one I made of these, and I tried to move forward to the next step at this point, and it didn't work. I had trouble. So. Need to check on that from time to time, make sure it is staying straight. Let's see where. So, we now have that glued in. This glue sets up pretty quickly. I can't find the packaging to tell me how long it's supposed to sit to dry. Kind of move that around to kind of brace that. And you might even want to put a bead there. In fact, that sounds like a really good idea. I'm going to go get a bead. I'm going to alter this. Right, just I was hoping a for a white one of these or a clear one, but I can only find the colored ones. So these green ones. So this is the closest I have. So what I'm going to do, I think this will help make this a little stronger. Put another gob of fresh glue up there. And then run that bead right up into that glue. That way we've got something a little larger that is gluing there. Now that will stay straighter. And I think I'm going to put one on the bottom too. So we're going to let that glue dry. I'm going to quit fiddling with it before I break it. And when the glue is dry, I'll All be right, back So again. I think this glue is dry fairly well. And I think what I'm going to do... Now I just poked this hole. I don't remember if I said earlier or not. I uh, used... I took this out to the, uh, the kitchen and I used a hammer and an ice pick. Very, very carefully. And we're going to glue this bead. Put a line of glue. I cover that bottom and I'm going to get a toothpick and line up the holes and I'm going to let that glue dry also. That way we'll be able to glue the straw on our wires to the inside of this bead which will already be attached to our base. Should have thought of that earlier. So we're going to let the glue dry again, and then I'll be back. All right. It's not completely dry, I don't think, but we're going to move ahead. So we're going to... First, I'm going to use a toothpick to make sure that that hole is clear. There we go. Now we're going to feed the wires for our light down through this. Come on. It wants to catch on our glue. Ah, that was it. There. All right. So this is going to come right to there. So we need some more glue. I'm going to put glue around, hopefully I'm on camera. And be, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, if you're using this type of glue, this stuff, if you don't know, smells really, really bad. There. And we can feed this wire out and then you could wire a plug on or you could just wire this directly use brads and put it directly into your tape wire run in your dollhouse. Now, right, so now we will glue right. this little rocking horse right on the front here. And these guys do seem to want to tip forward quite far. I'm going to attempt to put enough glue in the spot I want. There. And now when that dries, I am not going to demonstrate plugging this in. I don't remember if earlier in the video I mentioned I don't know where my... I don't have a free transformer to uh, wire this up to, but these will light, providing your wires, your lights are good. So 
I'll let this dry and then I'll get a uh, better picture. Uh, be sure and check the blog post. I'll have more information there, hopefully, and I will talk to you later. Bye.